Football with the Boys. Former ESPN anchor, now Fox 19 sports anchor, Betsy Ross, is in our studios. It's good to see you, Betsy. Oh, it's nice to see you, too. I didn't realize you guys ate so well. Oh, I know. you got popcorn. We're like got a bunch steak. of cavemen with that steak this morning. It. I know. Well, what's it like to be called a pioneer, to be known as a pioneer? Well, it, it's, it's, a, it's a little daunting yeah. uh, to begin with. But you know what? Uh, the women who are in this book truly are the pioneers. They came even before me, and it's really interesting to hear their stories. And it's not its not a biography of these women. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to almost two dozen women. They it's talked about how to be successful, yeah, right? Why yeah. they were successful? It's more or less a conversation about what they had to overcome uh -huh. to do what they wanted to do in sports. And it really started out as a business book, but the more women I talked to, the more yeah. interesting it got uh, about their stories. And I think we've seen over the last couple of weeks, you know, the issue about the locker room and the Jets. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten past that. It's been 30 years. <laughs> Does and that surprise you it. that we haven't gotten past it? Absolutely, it surprises yeah. me. You know, you think that it, it's more or less the norm. I mean, on, on Friday nights, t you know, tonight, I'll be out interviewing high school kids in mm -hmm. football. And you would think that these guys, for the most part, and, and they really have, they've grown up with women in these positions. So for a lot of these guys, it's no big deal. But, you know, sometimes it still is. So, yeah, it is a little bit surprising. Was there anything that the women you interviewed and talked to had in common? Um, one thing is... They never gave up. Okay. Uh, no matter what was put in front of them, they never gave up. Janet Guthrie, the first to drive, first woman to drive in the Indianapolis 500, mm -hmm. she got a ride. She was able to drive her first year. Her second year, she couldn't find a team that would hire her to drive, so she started her own team. You know, these women found a way to do it, and they all work hard. And, and if there's a recurring theme to their advice to other young women, or young men. I mean, this yeah. isn't just a book about sure. uh, women, but you know, work hard and don't give up. You know, show up. Showing up is nine-tenths of the battle right What there. about you? What, what, what were some hard things you had to overcome in becoming a woman sportscaster on a national level? You know, I, I don't have these tales of woe that, you know, a lot of people, yeah. I have been very, very fortunate in that, you know, it never occurred to me that I couldn't do it. Mm. Uh, I, I had parents who, you know, basically said, you can do and be anything you want to. I had news directors from the time of my very first job in South Bend, Indiana. I had news directors who said, well, you know, go ahead and do sports if you want to. I really had that support, and you know what? You need that support to, to get to where you're going. So I was very fortunate. That's great. Well, Betsy's going to be talking more about this tomorrow at the Books by the Banks event downtown at the Duke Energy Center, and it's in room 212. She speaks at 2 o'clock. There are a lot of great authors who are going to be there, great books this weekend. So I put a link to Books by the Banks at fox19.com, and I know we're going to be hearing more about your books in the coming weeks, too. We're so proud that you're oh, here with us, you. Betsy. Thank you. I'm, I, I get a kick out of out covering sports, and, you know, I'm so grateful to have that opportunity to, to go out and cover high school and college. And, boy, it's a lot of fun. And how about those reds? I know. Lava, Isn't it great? Lava, Finally. I know. It took a while. <laughs> Thanks, Betsy. Thank you.